Okay, if the function f of x equals x cubed plus ax squared has a local minimum value at negative 2 over 3 over 9, at x equals 1 over root 3, what are the values of a and b? And then we're asked to find the tangent lines in the curve, which, uh, or which point at it has the smallest slope. Okay, so there are a couple of information that are key to um, solving this. So we know that f of 1 over root 3 is equal to negative 2 uh, root 3 ninth over 9. And so we can actually plug this into our equation right away. So we get uh, 1 over root 3 uh, cubed plus a times 1 over root 3. Uh, this is going to be squared. And then plus going to be b times 1 over root 3. And this is all equal to negative 2 uh, root 3 over 9. And then once we cube it, we get 1 over 3 root 3, and then plus um, a over 3, and then we get plus b over root 3, and then this is still equal to negative 2 root 3 over 9. So now what we're going to do to simplify this more, we're going to multiply both sides by root 3, multiply both sides by root 3. And once we do that, we get um, 1 plus a root 3 uh, plus 3b, and this is equal to negative 2. So this is our first equation. So what we're going to be doing essentially here is using a systems equation. So how are we going to get our next equation? Well, we take the derivative because it tells us information about the derivative. Um, we know that there is some sort of local minimum value occurring. And so when local min occurs, we know that f prime of x is equal to 0. So, so first of all, we have to get the derivatives of 3x squared plus 3b. And, oh no, sorry about that. 3x squared plus 2ax uh, plus b. And we know that at f prime of 1 over root 3, well, that's equal to 0. So we're going to plug that in. So 0 equals 3 times 1 over root 3 squared plus 2a times 1 over root 3 plus b. And that's all equal to 0. Uh, once you simplify this, you get 1 plus 2a over root 3 uh, plus b equals 0. Now what we're going to do is multiply by 3 on both sides. And then this will give us uh, another equation. 3a plus 2a root 3 plus 3b is equal to 0. And then you could simplify this further. So 2a root 3 plus 3b is equal to negative 3. <clears throat> um, now what we're going to do, this is our second equation. Now what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the first equation from our second equation. And so what that gives us um, as a result, it gives us that a root 3 is equal to 0. And then we know that a is equal to 0. So now that we have a, we can actually plug this into any of our uh, equations. So for this case, we'll do this one. So this will give us, uh, I'm going to write this in red. So this will give us 0 plus 3b is equal to negative 3. Now we can solve for b. Well, b is just negative 1. And that is our answer for a. Now for the second part, um, we have to just take the, uh, now that we know these values, we can just take the derivative. So f prime of x, well, we know that um, a is equal to 0. 
So this doesn't even exist. And then B is equal to negative one. And that's just gonna go away in our derivative. So it's just gonna come out to be uh, six X actually. And so where, which of the tangent line has the smallest slope? Well, the smallest slope is where M is equal to zero. And so if you plug in M equals zero, um, m equals zero, well, that occurs at x equals zero. So that is the point in which our smallest slope occurs.